This was by far the simplest set and one I must regretfully confess that I didn't have a quad during the exam. I panicked and just didn't see this set. Embarrassing. A study to determine the mortality rate for a disease began in 1980. The case, the study chose 1000 males and 1000 females and followed them for 40 years or until they died. Right? Whichever came first, understandably. The 1000 males chosen in 1980 consisted of 250 each of ages 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Those are our four groups. The 1000 females chosen in 1980 also consisted of 250 each of 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Nice. The four figures shown below depict the age profile of those among the 2000 individuals who were still alive in 1990, 2000, 2010 and 2020. The blue bars in each figure represent the number of males, while the pink bars represent the number of females. Ah, so cliche, so stereotype. The numbers next to the bars give the exact numbers being represented by the bars. For example, we know that 230 males among those tracked and who were alive in 1990 aged between 20 and 30. 230 males, 1990 to... One look at these charts, heavy duty data. So, 230, 235, 210, 190, 240, 225, 190, 220. So the 10 to 20 age group in 1980 should have had 250 people, men and 250 women. 230 men and 240 women are there or 20 men died between the ages of 10 and 20. They were there in the 10 to 20 bucket in 1980, not there in the 20 to 30 bucket in 1990. They should have been there, 10 more years older. 250 minus 230, 20 people died there. 250 minus 235, 20 died in this age group. The delta from 250 is what is who have perished. Same here. Next step. There's nobody, nobody in the 20 to 30 range. The whole thing is shifted down by 10 more years, as it should. Only 180 people in this bucket. This 180 comes from this 230. This 230 becomes that 180 or 30 people have died. Sorry, 230 to 180, 50 people have died. In the ages of 20 to 30, in that 10 years, 50 people have died, which is like more than 20%, which is crazy mortality. But hey, this is a chart. Maybe they went to war. Right? But I get the hang of this. I'm not going to go deeper, deeper and deeper. Only these many remained. So 55, 180, 320 people remained. So 680 men died. It's also shady. A lot of people dying. Below 60 years so old, below 90. Okay, that's all right. But still, I would expect more people to be alive. This must have been data from 1980, 1990, something around. Maybe they're fighting a war. Right? Lovely. In 2000, what are the ratio of number of dead males to dead females among those being tracked? 2000, that is here. Dead males to dead females. Oh, nice. These many are alive. We started with 1000. What do we do? 180 plus 205 is 385 plus 260, 385 plus 260 is 645, 210, 360, 480 plus 175 is 655, how many have died, 355 have died, how many have died, 345 have died, 355 is to 345, I'm sure one five gets cancer, 355 is to 345, Divide by 5, 71 is to 69. Is that there? Yes, it is there. Done. It's a freebie of a question. There's nothing here. How many people who were being tracked and who were between 30 and 40 years of age in 1980 survived till 2010? 1980, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. That's a third bucket. And who survived till 2010? In 2010, third bucket, which is one, two, three. How many were there and who survived until 2010? That is, 190 have survived out of 500. Just want to check whether we're talking about the third bucket. Yeah, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. Third bucket, survived till 2010. The third bucket, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70. 90 plus 100, 190 are there. How many people were being tracked and were between 30 and 40 years of age in 1980 survived until 2010? 30 to 40 should have gone to 60 to 70, which is their 190 people. Just look at the chart and write down the answer. 
how many individuals who were being tracked and who were less than 30 years of age in 1980 survived until 2010 2020 that is the first two buckets less than 30 10 to 20 20 to 30 the first two buckets in 2020 just these two which is 140 plus 125 265 100 plus 105 205 add these two 470 470 should have survived which is this how many of the males who were being tracked and were between 20 and 30 years of age in 1980 died in the period 2000 to 2010 20 to 30 is a second bucket right from 2000 to 2010 second bucket is here 205 became 165 it was 250 became 230 became 205 became 165 so the 250 number 230 this is talking about 20 to 30 years of age in 1980 that is 30 to 40 here 40 to 50 here 50 to 60 here so this 235 becoming 205 becoming 165 we are looking for this transition 2000 2010 205 to 165 205 minus 165 that is 40 nice and simple just look at the data right on the answer how many of the females were being tracked were between 20 and 30 years of age in 1980 died between the ages of 50 and 60 20 and 30 years of age in 1980 that's a second bucket we're talking about 20 and 30 in 1980 we're talking about this number died between the ages of 50 and 60 20 and 30 in 1980 is 30 and 40 40 and 50 50 and 60 225 made it to the 30 and 40 brigade 175 made it to the 40 and 50 brigade from 175 it becomes 145 so they made it to the 40 to 50 did not make it to the 50 to 60 or died between the ages of 50 and 60 175 to 145 down 30 that's the 30 number we are looking for from 175 were alive at that age became 145 in this pocket 175 minus 145 is 30 literally just track these numbers we are through whatever is 230 here becomes 205 sorry becomes oops let me clear the whole thing whatever is say 240 here becomes 210 here becomes 160 here becomes 100 here track that cohort of that age group whoever were 10 to 20 became 20 to 30 became 30 to 40 became 40 to 50 became 50 to 60 nice steps of 10 age the breeze